Hi everybody, so this is a quick demonstration video of running a V12 engine with the valve covers removed on battery power alone. Now essentially what's going to happen is 12 volts will be supplied to the starter motor which will turn the flywheel, which will turn the crank of course and because this engine is about 80% rebuilt so all the internal components are fully installed we have the heads installed obviously, the crank, the pistons all our cams are installed and everything is perfectly timed, the chain is on. So this engine turns over and essentially is ready to operate once it has air and fuel and all that good stuff. But at the moment, the only way we can power this engine is via battery power. Now the purpose of this video is just to show you, with the valve covers removed, all the components spinning. And the cool thing is the engine will actually generate oil pressure. So of course we have our oil pump located in the sump down the bottom. We have eight liters of oil inside the engine. So that's kind of why it's on this kind of strange looking jig. So we have our oil reservoir here with our oil filter. That's going to be supplying filtration to the oil that's passing through the engine. So as soon as we power up this engine, oil pressure will start to build. It'll start to rise up through the block into each of the heads. And then oil will slowly graduate towards the camshafts on both sides and on our oil sprayer bars here and, and begin to provide lubrication to all of our head components and to our camshaft. So it's a really cool process and it's not something that you often see. And typically you can do this basically after an engine rebuild, essentially just to make sure that the engine is generating correct and sufficient oil pressure. So let's apply 12 volts and we'll take a closer look at the engine while it's running. Oh, and just a quick addition for you guys not familiar with the channel. This engine is of course from an 8 series BMW. So it's from a 1991 850i E31. So this had about 133,000 miles on it. It's had a complete rebuild and that's why everything looks essentially brand new. So onwards with the demonstration. As you can see, all we have is a 12 volt battery. There's actually two stacked on top of each other because there's two in the 8 series, but you only need one to power the starter motor. We have our jump leads connected straight to the starter motor with our negative and our positive supplying power to the solenoid, which also provides power to the main motor itself. So as soon as I connect these leads, we should be ready to roll. So we're gonna start with the positive. And then as soon as I connect the negative, it's gonna start up. So here we go. How fantastic is that? So as you can see, there's absolutely no issue with this engine generating oil pressure. The oil pump is working perfectly. Now, obviously when the engine is running under its own power, it's spinning many, many times faster. Oil pressure builds instantly. It doesn't take the guts of 10 seconds to get going. You'll see oil at the, stop, at the top of the engine within one to two seconds. And there's a slight reduction in pressure at this end of this cam. And at this end of this cam, essentially because the starter motor can't spin the engine fast enough to generate full pressure all the way along each camshaft. So very cool. I hope the demonstration was useful and enjoyable. And thanks so much for watching.